Jade. Hi, it's Steve from Kong for Us. And the missus. Hello, hello. How good are you morning. today? Good morning. Good, good. Good. Did oh. it take you too long to wake up today? I'm amazed at how fast she can get up. She does get her ready. eyebrows <laughs> She gets her eyebrows done so quickly because I was like, all right, it's 8.15. All right, it's 8.20, and uh, lo and behold, she's already here, and we're only a couple of minutes late today, so thank you guys Please, all for... you guys are too early, that's what it is. Yes, it's we're too never early. Late. And we're late. <laughs> she's always on time because the show starts when she gets here. She is the star of the show um, because you get to see her, and uh, what are you eating today? What is that? Pozole. Pozole, yeah, so mm. every time we come on here, we usually have a little bit of breakfast. We have some folks that are here this morning. Good morning, Philly Chick. How are you? Are you unboxing the self-transforming Optimus Prime? I did order the Robosend Prime, but it's going to be a little bit of time before it gets here. But that was... Or if it gets here. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. I definitely want to chat about that. But we have Bill Wright's here. Dylan Jay's here. Uh, Billy Wright's here. We got two Bill Wright's here. The two... We got a Billy and a Bill Wright. So I don't know if you guys have ever met, but that's too funny. Jared's here. Brad O'Connell is selling his Attack from Mars, uh, and Juan Perea is here as well. And Dylan J, thank you guys for all being here. Do you guys have audio issues? Can you guys not hear us okay? I don't know. All right, let us know. I'm trying out a new microphone that's a little bit further away. Um, so if it sounds pretty bad, I'm going to boom mic this a little bit closer to us so in case uh, you can hear us better. So let us know if uh, the audio sounds okay. Um, but we'll go ahead and test it out. But I want to bring on a special guest uh, because today audio is low but hearable. Hmm. All right. Let me see if I can tweak some settings. Oh, I think I forgot to move my vast master volume up. Let me check. Test, test, one, two. Is that better? Is that better? All right. Cool. I think I forgot to turn. I'm trying out a new. <laughs> I'm trying out a new audio system, so sorry about that. I forgot to turn my master volume all the way up. That's much better. All right, great. So we're back, guys. Thank you guys so much. These are always uh, fun times doing these live streams, but more people are joining in. Happy Sunday, fun day. Uh, so today we have lots of toys. I have Transformers. I have TMNT. I got some giant Voltron and Star Wars figures over here. And uh, if you like the thumbnail, she wanted to model off various poses she could have. I was like, hey, what's the most interesting way you can hold on to one of these toys? And she's like, watch this. I can hold a toy with my feet. So um, hope you guys are enjoying those thumbnails. What do you think about those uh, thumbnail sessions? I'm always like, I think people are clicking on our videos because they like looking at Mrs. Kong's or us in those thumbnails. So how do you feel about your thumbnail uh, game the last couple weeks? Honestly, I had no idea you're posting them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, because half the time we do it on Saturday night, she's already had about four or five beers or four or five glasses of wine. So I feel bad that I, I may be taking advantage of the clickbait nature that some of these thumbnails bring. But our chill and chat last week, which I thought was a horrible show, had a thousand views. And I was like, wow, um, <laughs> she was just sitting on top of my pinball machine. And it was, I felt like it was a bad show just because we ended early and whatnot. But I don't know, you you are clickbait material. So thank you for getting up early and uh, having some fun with it. So <laughs> John says, crazy thumbnails. Uh, perfect, perfect. My wife just got her eyebrows microbladed. I have been telling her that her eyebrows are on point every week. Oh, That's so brave. I can't do that. I'm a traditional plucker. Um, the micro bleeding sessions look kind of scary to me. Is it? Oh, interesting. Nice. Exploiting the beauty of Mrs. Kong's arrest. <laughs> Is it exploiting if I agree to it? Actually, it's... I agree to the photo sessions. I didn't realize you're posting them. So You know I'm posting them, but she's the one that comes up with all these crazy ideas too. I'm like, hey, just hold this normally. And then she's like, watch this. Ooh. And I'm like, okay. And sometimes I'm like, be normal. And she's like, ooh. So <laughs> I think you just like the attention. I'll do more of those. Ooh. Ooh. It's great. All right. Anyways, I want to bring on a good friend of mine, uh, George. He is uh, from Crowded Mind, Crowded Shelves Toys, and he's been a huge friend of mine for the last several years. I've known him for, gosh, almost 15 plus years now. And uh, I, if you don't know, first and foremost, I collect toys as my main hobby. And arcades have really blown up the last year. And it's probably taken over more of my obsession than toys have. But for the better part of the last 15 years, I was a pretty avid, hardcore toy collector. I collected Macross toys, Transformers, and this is the guy that I almost dubbed my toy dealer. He's the guy that would get me stuff. I'd pull up over to the parking garage and he'd be open up his trunk and be like, 
see anything you like. And I'd be like, let me see how much I got. I'll take that one and that one. <laughs> uh, but he, uh, he's an extreme toilet user. I'm going to bring him on right now just to add him to the stream. George, what's going on, man? Yeah. Oh. Hey, all right. So George is here, and you have a massive collection behind you that's for sale. But for folks that don't know who you are, what Crowded Shelves toys are, like what is it that you do with all those toys in the background? Well, I, I'm just here because of the clickbait uh, thumbnail. And, and <laughs> I, I, I didn't know I had to talk. Um, no, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been a toy collector myself for 26 years-ish, maybe. Is it weird I've, to say that? <laughs> about it. And I think I've been selling toys in one way or another for, like, 20 of the years, just, you know, to help offset the cost of collecting and stuff. And so, um, <clears throat> in the last few years, I think I've turned it more, uh, more into a side hustle. Um, and so, yeah, I've just been, uh, I've been selling on Instagram. Uh, I still, uh, I'm still old school. I still go on, uh, old school message boards and sell on there. Uh, Facebook, you know, offer up marketplace. Have you done like a TikTok one? No, not on TikTok. Get on all the social platforms, George. For TikTok. Uh, all right. I'm uh, going to put. I'm gonna plug in headphones to make sure there's no audio feedback in the set. Hold on. And uh, lately, the new the new avenue I've been exploring is uh, live stream sales on Facebook. Yeah. So when you told me that you were doing live streams on 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 Facebook to do it, I was like, wait a second. I've heard about selling on eBay or you know Craigslist or you know Macari or any of the selling apps where you just post post the price and then you just buy or sell like that's always been the model for buying some of these toys and when you said there's like a live toy selling thing i was so curious the first time i saw you do it and it's just like what we're doing right now it's a, it was a live stream but him panning over his collection of toys behind him and then saying here's what this costs like what do you want so it's almost like virtual shopping so wait, i mean wait. are we selling these these they're that leaving that house no, these are part of the collection. So th the thumbnail said unboxing and sales, not selling our toys. Okay, again, I didn't even know you posted my thumbnail. So <laughs> I don't read clearly or look at these things. But these aren't leaving our house. No, they're unboxing and they're going to be in in the collection somewhere. You've seen the room before. No, it's a, it's a third party Oraku uh, uh, shredder. So exactly. Uh, that's a good piece to have. That's this is a good piece. This is rare, right? Mrs. Kong, that's an investment. Do you, do you want this instead and put it in your collection? Do you have one, George? Do you have this? No, I missed that. Uh, crane. Huh. Both of, both of those are money now. Yeah, exactly. So one of uh, the guys that I've been um, doing some arcade stuff work, uh, he. Dan Mosell uh, was the one that turned me on to the Krang. So he got me the Krang. This is the third party. It's called First Gokin is the company that made it. They made an awesome Krang. And then I saw that they made a shredder and I was like, holy heck, like this is probably the coolest like villain shredder that I've seen. The box is, does it open? I'm just like, oh, I'm showing you the backside of it, but like, it's so cool. So this might be one of the first ones that I opened. I've been dying to open this up. But do you, like when you collect, cause and let me ask you in the background, are, are those, part of your collection or do you really just buy stuff to flip or like because you you have a lot of things that you collect i have certain genres but you seem to be very much whatever shiny and looks good and whatnot uh so i guess the answer to all of that is yes <laughs> basically i mean i i try and only sell things that i'm interested in or yeah. that, you know that i you know i'm into so like uh, like for instance, I'm not crazy into Dragon Ball, but I know Dragon Ball's popular and like some mm -hmm. of them are. So like I'll buy some and then uh, then decide what am I doing with Dragon Ball and then I'll sell it. So some of the stuff does kind of come in and out of my collection, some of it. Uh, and then some of it, you know, I do buy to resell to again, kind of help, help pay for my, uh, you know, addiction, I guess, you know, of, of collecting. So behind me, so this is like my setup. So when I go live, I, I usually stand in front of this, pan around this table, yeah. uh, and and show some stuff off. So I mean, a lot of this, uh, yeah. But like, like say Honda, you know, I picked up Honda because I wanted one in my collection, but then I picked up an extra, 
because uh, I got a guy and he hooked it up. And so uh, I thought, you know, if I can if I can pick something up for a good price and sell it for a good price and, you know, help out another collector, then, you know, I'm down to do that. So, yeah. So, yeah, the answer to your questions all are, are yeah. Uh, yes and yes and yes you collect it all buy it to flip part of your collection and I, uh i mean yeah but like but like you and another friend of ours who have you know have have their man caves and get stuff displayed you you quickly realize now that you have a space to display stuff you realize how uh how much you know i think the display space ratio is uh, too large so you realize, all right, you gotta let stuff go. Um, so that's that's sort of the other motivation. That's true. Letting stuff go is never easy. So this is actually a secondhand used one. So it was on eBay. It was one of the ones. It was I think one of two that was available on eBay. One was exorbitant price, and this one I think was at two hundred and fifty dollars when it first was was there. And I was like, oh man, that's really expensive for an Iraqi, uh, like a shredder toy, right? I mean, 200 bucks for a team and T. And it was one of those things where eBay lets you see who's been watching stuff. And then I think he offered it to me like $25 cheaper. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure you do that too. Do you also sell on eBay and whatnot? And like do those other areas? Yeah, eBay, uh, eBay is my preferred form. Yeah. Uh, I have a... Try to shelves toys there too, um, but yeah, like, <laughs> a little time just because you know I'm always about uh, like, like, you know, some issue with with the quality. Um, I'm always a little scared, so I take a ton of pictures and describe everything. Um, whereas you know, in a in a live claim sale, I can I show everything. I can quickly describe if there are any defects. Put the camera put off. And then, uh, you know, fill that. And, uh, so it's a little, you know, it's easier, it's faster. But um, eBay is still, eBay is still great. It's like still a great place to sell, even though everyone always talks about how um, that the fees are outrageous. Um, but <laughs> you, 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 uh, it's easy to adjust accordingly, you know. So. Yeah, uh, Jeff Rotter reigns. Uh, Jeff says, if my wife was next to me when I said this was $250, she would have gotten super pissed. And Mrs. Stephen Kong did it even bad in eyes. She's amazing. I didn't buy it for $250. I bought it for $225 because he gave it to me for $225 less. Is this? I think I was just too busy looking at the fact that like I saw his hair right here. I was like, I have to see the hair. <laughs> but look at this. This is so badass. This is like the coolest Shredder toy that I've ever held and seen. Because they don't really do justice to a lot of the villains. There's not a ton of Shredder toys out there. But it has this this helmet almost feels really he like it's almost die cast. It's really cool. But bam. Oh, you have to remove his helmet. I think you have to remove his hair to put it on. What do you think about like toys like this? When you get stuff, do you do reviews? Do you actually play with your toys? That's always been one of my questions. Are you a collector, displayer? Do you actually like pick them up and pose them, or do you just like to have them in your collection? Because I, <laughs> yeah, we've been friends too long, so you know me too well. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think of myself as an opener. Sometimes it just takes me a while to open. Uh, so a lot of my stuff is still boxed, but uh, I do I do start opening stuff, uh, or or actually what happens or if, uh, eventually if I one for cheap I'll buy that and then play with that one. <laughs> yeah. Then, uh, eventually I'll probably um I'll probably uh, sell the box one because yeah. of that like. Eh. Your audio might be a little bit uh, breaking up a little bit, so I don't know. It might be your internet or something. So it could maybe be we because can we're rustling and making noises. Oh. <laughs> in and out. It's like Zoom. Yeah, just a little bit, but we can still hear for the most part. <clears throat> all right. So there were some other questions in chat. Just wanted to double check. So yeah, Jeff, we are going to be opening up all the toys on our end, even though Mrs. Kongtoros is hoping that we would sell it. George, we will do a pan and view. So I, I want to do a live session where you are actually doing what you do and we can highlight you. And if anybody wants to buy something live today, you can. And at the end of the show um, or in the description, there's a link to, to George's Instagram page where you can get in touch with them. Um, but these are all the, the ways that you can get stuff. So you might find some good deals. Um, did you see that Target's going to stop selling Pokemon cards because people are getting mm -hmm. crazy? Did you... Do you know more about this than I do? So, yeah. So it's a combination of Pokemon and sports cards. <clears throat> so in the pandemic, 
uh, collecting has gone crazy, and sport car- sports cards and Pokemon cards are another thing uh, that have just exploded. So, uh, so like Panini is is a maker of sports cards, like basketball cards, football cards, uh, things that the year before used to cost like you know a box of uh, optic football used to cost eighty dollars like two years ago. This mm-hmm. past year, they cost eight hundred. So they, Wait, what? they what? Up like ten. T- yeah, yeah. For for what basketball cards or for, for football cards for football cards football cards. Oh my it goodness! Used to be, uh, yeah, from what I heard, it was like an eight eighty dollar box back in the day. This yeah. Past year, they jacked up the price to eight hundred. So everything across the board is jacked up. So, uh, but, so a lot of card distributors are also hoarding product because they know mm-hmm. they can get more for it than just selling it wholesale. Yeah. Um, and so Target and Walmart have contracts with these card, uh, with the card companies that they have to get their product and they have to get it for a price where they can sell it for twenty dollars for a blaster box or forty dollars for, uh, for mega. And then, uh, you know, people would come, clear out the shelf, and then put them on eBay for five or six or seven times. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so Pokemon cards experience the same thing, and so. It went from people clearing the shelves to people only getting them, only selling stuff on certain days to one per person to, okay, a fight just broke out in Target. We're not selling cards anymore. Wow. Oh, oh an actual fight broke out. An actual over fight it. broke up. Dang. Broke out. And I think one of the guys had like uh, a concealed carry permit. And I think he, he whipped out his gun at some point to, yeah. Over cards? Yeah. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm getting my stories confused. But there was definitely a fight. Uh, yeah, and and they and so Target was like, you know, for the safety of our of our people, and because things are crazy, we're not selling cards anymore. So Pokemon, football, you know, uh, sports cards. Uh, yeah, it was a yeah. safety issue. It was a safety issue. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I just, oh, I just I just have to show you guys like when I get toys that have stands and accessories. Do you see how cool this is? Like yeah. he has. It's it's the weapons. It's the turtle weapons. He has two sets of swords, two nunchucks, uh, two sides, and then a, a staff. But they're all colored. The variants of of the turtles. This is so. This is probably my favorite part of the toy. Is the accessories. Like my, this my is so cool. My favorite part is how sharp these things are. She's been poking me with the freaking toys. These like so third party toys definitely don't have to stand up to your U.S. standards because these are sharp. She's been poking me with the dang shredder toy, and you could poke an eye out with this stuff for sure. This this would not step past your standard uh, yeah. U.S. clearance. But this is really awesome. I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's kind of dark. Like, how did, <laughs> how did you get all their weapons? You know, like, what happened? To the <laughs> yeah, you never know. This is maybe this is uh, Oroku Saki's dream world, and he just has this as his goal. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see the different. And I like it because like, I even the like the nunchucks have spikes on them. It's super sharp. Everything is just like super sharp and edgy. This is a really cool figure. So, and it comes with figures and accessories. Comes with a really big sword. I like it. I dig it. It's a really awesome figure. This is probably one of my favorite things that I've held in a long time. It's freaking cool. And I I, I normally tend towards lean towards robots and things, but TMNT is one of the few things that I do have a collection of, including all my toys are inside of my arcade one up TMNT cab. I've already run out of space. What what are you doing? What are you laughing at? It's What's just, so funny? It's fist. It's like it's a standard fist that can hold stuff. What's so funny yeah, about it? It's a it? holding fist. It's a holding fist. There's a name for it. George says it's a holding fist. What's so funny about a holding fist? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> you see what? Yeah. That's, that's the grip you use to hold a lot of things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. S- since she went there, George, have you ever posed your toys in uh, questionable positions for entertainment purposes? I have not. Uh, I, I, once, I once had stuff at work a long, long time ago, and I think uh, you know, always there's some jokester who who does it, but uh, no, I, I have not. I, I think not. your Instagram page also, would blow I'm up. <laughs> if you market, I think though. <laughs> you got to have the toys playing with each other, and there's right. all sorts of ways to play with them. So. 
I got, well, I, I, you know, I got, I got to keep my Instagram uh, uh, PG thirteen so that uh, you know, if, I, if, if yeah, for the sales, but also in case I'm looking at my phone and you know yeah. my daughter's around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neca, so you have a big Neca collection. Do you do kind of like certain genres, certain uh, you know companies that make stuff? Like, are you a fan of Neca and certain toy companies, or do you lean towards just like genres of things? Um, uh, again, yes. <laughs> um, Neca, uh, Neca does a lot of horror stuff, um, and I'm I'm not a big horror person, but uh, I do appreciate what they do and and the stuff they've got. Like, uh, uh, you know, they they do a line of turtles that's practically impossible to get because it's a Target exclusive. A lot of them, or they're exclusive to the website. Uh, so it's it's been I think out of frustration I just kind of don't collect them as much as I want, um, but then they're also doing uh, they're out they're going to come out with a Goliath from Disney's Gargoyles. Oh, nice! Uh, so You'd yeah, be interested so, in that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that's so awesome. I've got, I've got that on pre order. Cool, uh, but yeah, I mean they've got a bunch of lines. So uh, Neca's not my favorite probably because I've heard they're they're a little brittle brittle. Um, but yeah, no, I, I definitely recognize that they do good stuff. <laughs> she was trying to use Shredder's toys to open up the next box instead. <laughs> it was pretty <so>. sharp. <clears throat> it was sharp. <laughs> yeah, it was sharp. So we have a um, a Gigawatt, the Back to the Future collaboration with Transformers. Did you have one of those? Did you grab it? I don't. You don't yeah. have a Gigawatt? A Gigawatt? Yeah. What? Are you, are you not a fan of these mashups? Eh, not really. It w- It was sort of... You it's know, a DeLorean that transforms. I, <laughs> Come on, man. It's transforms and it's a DeLorean. DeLorean. How could you not I want I I can't believe you don't have this. Like, is this was it because it was an it was a uh, I think it was a Target exclusive, right? Or something? Uh, I, I gotta you know, do Target. I, he started as a Walmart exclusive. Oh, okay. And he sold out like immediately. I don't know what Pretty the quickly. what the mass release want. I don't know how it's different. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, people it sold out on Walmart instantly. And then people put it up on eBay for like 300 bucks and it was selling. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the difference is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I think it was like the easy the easy way of saying, well, you know, it's not a, it's, it's while it's cool because it, it's Transformers and it's Back to the Future, because it's not like in a show or something, uh, to me, it was like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to try and pass it. <laughs> pass it. Uh-huh. You're not, you can't make it fly like that, babe. If you're going to make it fly, you have to turn the wheels. The wheels point down. Yeah, the wheels go in. Do the wheels the go w- in? They do. Look. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can play it in any all mode. Oh. If you're going to play with the toys, play with them right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You can play with your toys any which way you want to. <laughs> I'm uh, food. Yeah. I love how it's, uh, you know, yeah, you can you can spend two hundred twenty five dollars on this toy, but don't tell me how to play. <laughs> don't tell me how to play. <laughs> hey, what's up, VPD Virtual Pinball? I do have a giant Star Wars toy here. Um, so my good buddy Greg Zaker from Ninety Nine Lives Arcade, we were collaborating, and he sent me a thank you, and I had no idea who sent this to me for a few days. So it is a Star Wars Vintage Collection. X-Wing. George, what do you think about this when you see stuff like this? Like when they reissue kind of old toys and things. I, lo- I love the retro packaging because that, that definitely takes me back. Yeah. Um, and they've, they've updated the X-Wing a few times. So, uh, yeah. yeah, the vintage collection stuff is usually is, is pretty quality. Title so, yeah. vintage um, on the side right here, too. So, I mean, my, my hand's all off on the other sides. But, yeah, it's pretty – it's it's pretty cool. Like I see it and I was like, wow, this looks good. But the power about like, let's talk about packaging for a second. Like you're a box collector at some point, but some things almost look too good in a box to open. Like, do you feel that way sometimes when you're collecting? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially if if it has a window, you can kind of see it. Like we have a mutual friend that is a notorious box collector that really just buys it to look at it in packaging (laughs) and like never opens his toys, which I still don't understand. Like people that are MISB collectors, yeah, there's a point of having it, but if you can't actually see it and touch it at some level, I think there's a breaking point where you have to open some things, right? Like, right. it's hard to be a pure MISB collector, but to each their own, right? Everybody collects differently. 
So let me know in chat if you guys, what kind of collector, do you open everything? Do you keep stuff in box? Do you keep your boxes after you open them? I know there's a lot of arcade collectors here where at some point I was still holding onto my giant arcade one up boxes, oh, but wow. you know, the space issue definitely made me get rid of them. But it's like, it's, it's a $400 toy and they kind of are big giant toys, but I was like, I like the box, but um, yeah, I couldn't keep it. Um, let me chat. Let me keep up with chat really fast. Uh, this guy uh, was getting attacked, and this guy pulled his gun in the parking. Oh, he's talking about the target thing. Oh, so he, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeff was saying there, there's a gun involved, and a bunch of targets have signed up saying they're not selling because of the employees. Wow, that's crazy. All right, yeah, and it, it's a national policy. They were, you yeah, know, that was something that they they did across the board. Yeah, we're totally. Sorry, I'm I'm really behind on chat. Let me check. So yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. Poke Pokemon and Magic the Gathering scene is still really big at the local game store. So sadly, local businesses went out of that. Yeah, those mom and pop shops, like yeah. you know, like either comic book stores or places that would sell toys. I think the margins on toys, because you let me ask you that, because flipping toys mm -hmm. is, ex I think it's expensive. I don't know, if, like the margin for shipping and uh, and like having it and holding it. And I mean, I give you, I give you crap for this all the time, but you, are you still paying for extra storage space outside of your house for toys? <laughs> Maybe. Don't answer that, but okay. The smile says everything. So it's expensive to hold on to your collection, but I mean the margin again on selling in these, these mom and pop shops that are closing in, I had more appreciation for why they had to mark up toys and I, but like, but collectors are always trying to find things in the cheap. So when they see things that aren't retail or, you know, over retail, like they get sometimes people get so offended about pricing, but I, yes. I would rather pay you an extra couple of dollars because you're a small guy making men's meat. But I understand that. But most people are they trying to haggle you, like get the best price they can. And you do that, too. You're trying to find the lowest price. It's it's always a buy sell market. But tell me your thoughts on that whole like the margins on flipping and, and really what profit margin is for places like that. Um, well, uh, I don't know. I Like I said, I know I know a guy. I know a few guys, actually. So. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting my stuff. Uh, oh, wait, 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 what uh, just happened? She was moving stuff and something just fell off my gigawatt. Like what, what did you do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> she said, did you play with it too roughly? Did a wheel come off right now? <laughs> do you ever get somebody with like picks up your stuff and you're like, they're oh. like, Oh, how does this work? And she's like, you broke off two wheels. What the hell? And that's why you don't play with your toys. <laughs> oh man! All right, it's okay. Most if it was actually one of my Macross toys or something that's a little bit more hefty, like we know Transformers are built to like fall apart and come back yeah. together. So I'm not too worried about it. But I think, just think it's funny. I just watch her over there for a second, and all of a sudden she's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, go back to your story on the uh, margins thing. Okay. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, I actually get my stuff pretty much for wholesale. <laughs> nice. Um, so, uh, yeah, so the margins, you know, and it, it depends on the item. Some margins, yeah, some margins aren't great. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, yeah, and so my whole thing is like, you know, I want to try and give, uh, you know, the, the people that buy for me, you know, the best price that I can. Uh, because, yeah, there are a lot of options. But, um, you know, like, like there's a lot of different collectors or a lot of different uh, there's a lot of different mindsets when buying. So yeah, I've, I've got, um, I've got friends and, and people that buy for me that think, yeah, I would, I'd rather support you than, you know, go on eBay or, you know, go yeah. to the Amazon. When you put that, when you put that yeah. relationship with a local shop, you like supporting them, but right. if you don't, right. if you don't know who it is, then you're trying to get the most money and then you're trying to buy it as cheap as you can. Right. So exactly. I mean, <laughs> exactly. right. buy yeah. low, sell high, but, that's, you know, that's why you like eBay. Yeah. yeah, but there's got to be like a you know like a middle point. So uh, yeah. yeah, and a lot of people that buy for me, you know, like they'll they'll hit me up in chat and we'll we'll like you know talk Build a little bit rapport. back and forth. So it's not just yeah. like you know a buyer you know buyer seller relationship. Like I'll I'll, I'll actually yeah. chat with these guys. So Philly Chick was saying she had an X wing like this when I was a kid and I have no idea what happened to it. But part of that like lost nostalgia is is really what's driving the retro toy collection market mm -hmm. like and like our most of your buyers are uh, adults right and they're yeah. collectors of things and yeah. are most of the things that you bought like have behind you are, are 
are they mostly just adult collectors that are, are picking stuff up like and, and, and seeing that and the nostalgia bug hits you sometimes so talk about that like Billy Chick sentiment is like this is what would drive somebody to go buy something like this because they had it as a kid they lost it or they had something for it and they'd go out and find it like tell us have you ever had that experience yourself oh absolutely um yeah. <clears throat> I'm actually getting um I'm actually getting into vintage toys and trying to buy stuff that I wanted as a kid. Um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, it, but, but because everything's exploded in like in, in, in the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. things that probably I could have gotten for probably half the price I'm paying a lot more for now, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, uh, nostalgia plays a huge part. And like in the last year, there have been so many retro style toys or just straight reissues of stuff. Yeah. Um, like they reissued the real Ghostbusters. Yeah. Like, you know, just like yeah. straight, like yeah. exactly how they with came the out. With the card and there. everything too. Yeah, yeah. With the card and everything. Um, you know, and they did like the four Ghostbusters. They did the um, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. They did Slimer. Um, so yeah, I mean, the nostalgia, because, you know, I mean, all of us, as we grow older, like we're the ones, you know, that have money that remember stuff and like, you know, we're buying the stuff because Part, partly I mean, marketed towards that market too. Like, yeah, I mean, kids absolutely. are going to see this and be like, oh, but like, it's, it's cool. It's but yeah, it's, toy. it's not going to be that same like tug on the heartstrings like like for us. And opening this one actually is a little bit tough for me because um, I, I want to see it. But one, I, I don't collect anything else in this scale or collection. So it's probably going to end up being one of my kids' toys because he's been looking at it. But one, I like the box and I'm probably going to keep it. But it's, so it's one of these things like, oh, I struggled with it. Are you trying to transform it without any instructions? Sure. Yeah, she's like, yes. She's playing She's playing with Gigawatt to, to see if she can get it go. I actually always do this with Transformers. I like to see. It's a puzzle, right? I like to see what I can do. So keep going. Oh, I I've, st I've stopped do. doing that. <laughs> I'm going, going back to the chat about opening boxes. People are throwing away boxes. Uh, Webhead has a great thing. Buying two to keep one in box and one to play. George, are you guilty of this at all? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Depends on what it is, right? Depends on what it is. Yeah. yeah. And and, it, and um, about your box question earlier, yeah. uh, for me, it, it depends on, on the item. Yeah, you know, like if, it, if it's like an import, you know, or if it's like one of our Macross toys, then definitely you, keep in the box. Would you keep this? Would you keep this box? I, uh, that that would be like fifty fifty for me. Um, yeah, because that box is cool, but at the same time, like yeah, some of the some of the I, I have a tendency to throw away boxes of domestic toys more than you know. I I, I I tend to agree with that. Like I have I have this right here. Would you throw this box away? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> did That's you just right. get that recently? I did. I got it from BBTS. So oh, like, yeah, I, I I was on the fence about getting this for so long, but then I think they had a, a sale on it, and I was just like, I'm. I got the 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 Go Lion version of it, and yeah. I, I just was like, even though I'm not a bigger bigger fan of Vehicle Voltron, I was just like, I want to, I wanted to get it and grab it. So you, you need that Fleet of Doom moment where you have both Voltrons, like you know. That yeah. Yeah, all right, I'm opening up this Star Wars one too. This is actually a pretty cool. I was surprised that this Vintage Collection Lego set was like $100 on, on Amazon. Like I looked up how much it costs. Like oh, wow. that's, that was insane to me. So I mean, some yeah. things are valuable. It just kind of depends on what hits the market, but this is pretty yeah. cool. But also the, the Vintage Collection, um, I think yeah. the ships are, in, are, I mean, I, I wouldn't say they're still 100% in scale, but they're better scale than some of the older Power of the Force stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they are going to be a little more expensive, but yeah, because that that X wing looks in better scale than, than the old one. Oh, and it's like the way they package it. Oh, like all the pieces are there. This is really cool, and it's it's a nice little paint job too. Like I actually really dig this. This is really cool. Oh, does it have an R two somewhere? Does it, come, it has to come with an R two, right? Where's R two? R two, where are you? Is there is there space to put one in there, like a full size figure? Yeah, yeah. Come there's on. a little. Oh, oh. Maybe I have to. Buy, maybe it doesn't come with an R two, and I have to. Yeah, exactly. Buy one. <laughs> oh man, George. All right. Do you have an R two figure behind you? It doesn't come with one, so I think uh, I do have to buy one separately. I, I so, don't. I don't think I've got one, but uh, <laughs> uh, you know, what? I, I may have one loose somewhere. Let me. I'll look for that. <laughs> I know I, I always have stuff in hoard. Like George, okay, so what do you have for me? Some some other stuff. I know I know I have other things from you. Did, did I, uh, don't I have like a a Mega Man? No, what do I have from you? I think I have. 
you claimed a, a Robotech Invid. Yes, here. that's what I got. Uh, the big purple one. Mm -hmm. um, I think I still owe you. I'm a, gonna let you put this together. I think I still owe you a high metal VF four. Oh yeah, Macross. So Macross oh, is the big thing that we collect. Way yeah. Back then. Yeah. You don't right. need to bring it over. Don't worry. <laughs> we, need, we need to play poker and do stuff. We're just chatting and talking about toys. So thank you guys. All right, I'm going to go back to chat because I'm, I'm already several chats behind. Um, so this was the box question. Uh, don't have room for the A1F boxes and you put them in recycling. Good. Oh, uh, Project Zero Three is our good friend from right. Brandon. Yes. He opens, photographs them, displays them, and then eventually puts them back in the box. So at least you have documentation that you opened them. I'm okay with that. If at least you've like opened them yeah. and, and do something with them. That's pretty good. Uh, I thought all this stuff ended up in a display case. I know, I right? He has an awesome display. Well, he he's the type of guy that buys three things of the same thing because he <laughs> wants, or four things of the same thing. And these are like three, $400 toys. So check out Project Zero Three. Uh, look him up on Instagram uh, as well. I think he's on Facebook, but he has mm -hmm. an amazing collection of Macross toys. One of the guys that has the best photographs of, of any of those mechas. So check him out for yeah, sure. Thanks for joining it. Yeah, yeah, he's got great photos. Yeah. Is buying packs of cards like gambling is addicting because you don't know what you'll get? Hmm. Yes. Yeah, definitely gotcha, right? Being like, ooh, am I going to get the one? For sure. It definitely I've, is. Right? I've fallen. I, I started collecting cards a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I usually buy, when I buy them, I usually try and buy them and like, uh, I'll buy two at a time and yeah. like keep one and open one. Um, but then, uh, like for instance, I, I, I bought two, two boxes of stuff. I opened one. I was super disappointed because I paid over retail for them. Yeah. Uh, so I was super disappointed. And I sat there with the other box for a long time. I was like, no, I'm just going to hang on to it, maybe trade it or something. And then ultimately I was like, no, I'm going to open it. And I opened it and I got like a, a, uh, a figure or a card that's only like one per case. So it's like a, it's like a $400 card. <laughs> And so nice. I was like, good thing the, th I that. the thrill of the f of of the fight, right? Or thrill of getting it? Yeah, it definitely is uh, that that thrill is is pretty crazy. So, absolutely. All right, Devil was saying that he sent me a pic of his 18 inch NECA stuff. Ooh, Ooh. so scale of stuff is is pretty interesting too, right? So let me see if I can pull that up. So tell me about like small figures, big figures. Like, do you have a preference for for scales? Like 18 inch NECAs. That's it's huge. huge. I would yeah. I would love to get stuff like that, but I mean, they just take up so much space, right? Yeah, yeah. NECA is great about doing the larger scale stuff. So yeah. they have movie turtles in that size. They they just started doing the cartoon turtles in that size. They have uh, Batman Returns. They're coming out with a Batman, a Catwoman, a Penguin. Uh, I think they have right. a. I think they have other movie figure uh, TMNT movie figures in that size. Oh yeah. yeah. What do you oh. think of this? Yeah. So the, yeah. the turtles on top. Are 18 inch and they're coming this, out with a foot soldier and, and uh shredder too. This is Devil Waddle's 18 inch collection, man. Those figures are bad, man. Yeah, those are awesome. The box I get, is, is ginormous though. It's I get jealous when I see stuff like that. Like <clears throat> and I don't have any more space for turtles, but I yeah. do love my turtles. But those are freaking awesome. I might George, I'm gonna have to put out an APB. If you see something like that, let me know. <laughs> Uh, I always do that. Sometimes I don't want to look and know because I don't want it. So that's the problem. Damn, damn you, Devil Waldo. Um, so, and Mrs. Kong says, dang you too, because now I might be hunting for some 18 inch NECAs. But that, that was awesome. Thanks for sharing that. I, I think I have them on pre order. Do you? Wait. So. All right. Very cool. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. so uh, awesome. When, when they come in, I'll, I'll hit you up. <laughs> Jeff says it was a lemon because it had two broken wheels. But take it oh, back. she's been, take it back. Get your money back. All right, have you ever done that? Have you broken stuff or returned stuff and bought a new one instead? No. Don't lie. <laughs> All right, you have morals. Well, you're I'll, you're I'll, a good I'll, guy. I'll, I'll keep it and buy another one, but I, uh, I, I've never returned it. Uh, all right, oh, there it is. Look at her. She, look at oh, that. Cool. Look, look at that play feature. It opens and closes. That's actually really big. Holy crap. This yeah. is like big. It's like, it's huge. Yeah. My That's goodness. Okay. It, it's yeah. Does it fits the three and a half inch figures? Is that what it's meant for? Yeah. Yeah? For the vintage line? Yeah. Oh. Like and it, it transformed this too. Oh. Oh yeah, she did. I, I think you might need to extend the legs a little bit. They you look know, a little goofy. And then I tried to take scissors you to like what? Pry this oh yeah, out. you have to take the feet out. <laughs> oh, taking scissors to the transformer. That's what nails are for, Mrs. Kong. 
They, I can't, like, there's no button or thing. I don't know how you can put your fingers in here to do it if my tiny um, little fingers can't do it. Ah, uh, all right, this is cool. But I, I'm missing R2. It does not come with an R2 unit, even though the picture on box has one. But that's true. It has other figures in there. But this is really cool. And it's heavy. Dang, all right, Ke Kenny's going to have a lot of fun uh, playing with this. So my son will enjoy. Oh, but it has a little, like, this is the, the little flip thing on the back that opens it up. That's oh, cool. nice. Yeah, I like oh, it. Like are there electronics or anything? Or is it just um, I don't think nope. so. What? Oh wait. Is that yeah. Right? Oh, this is cool. So like the the bottom part like flips around for the the landing gear too. Mm -hmm. So it's like hidden in here. Cool. Yeah, but I don't see any electronics that I can tell. Oh, okay. That I can tell so far, but it's cool. I like it. Very cool. I would recommend this if you are a Star Wars fan. Like very well scaled, has some good playability, looks gorgeous. I think I might have to hang this up in the arcade or something. So thank you, Greg from 99 Lives. This was freaking awesome. This was amazing. Thank you so much. All right, let me get back to you, chat and see if there's anything else. At uh, my local comic book, they sell cards and flip them pretty quick, like the, looking at the rare ones. Yeah, I always, I used to love going to my local shop. and collect, I used to collect a lot of basketball cards growing up. So that was my main thing. Mm. I got an arcade one up on Thursday and I already gutted it for buttons, mods, and off the back box. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah, a lot of a lot of mods and things. All right, does George have a storefront? Oh well, let's let's start looking at your stuff, George. Like, did you just shoot me? <laughs> what the hell? I'm trying to figure out where something went. But so you've been shot at. She just yeah. she just she just. <laughs> okay, so apparently there's a cannon that that you can shoot a proton cannon out the bottom, and she just shot. <laughs> she just. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's having more fun with the toys than I am. So I mean, that's take that's, someone's eye out. You can take somebody's eye out with that thing. I was not expecting that, so that was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the landing gear for it. Yeah, there's the landing gear. So yes, it was a, it was a cannon and a landing gear. More playability. She's having some some good old fun. All right, so uh, do you want to take your camera around and, and show us what you got and and do a oh. mini sale? So. For, for you guys now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make George big. He's going to flip his camera around and then... Oh, wait. Hang on. Camera. All right. Let's 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 see a goodie. We're going to see the Crowded Shelves store because it's really crowded in there. And let's yes, see all is. the goodies. So do, do your thing where you talk about it and start telling prices on stuff. And let's see if we can get anybody okay. who might be interested in... And um and buying something and staking a claim. How do you do this? Tell like tell everybody the disclaimer when you start up like the rules and what what this is. We'll oh, do this okay. for like ten minutes and see if we can get anybody to stake a claim. I might buy some stuff. Right, cool. we're, we're going shopping right now at George's. Go. <laughs> so uh, turn so turn your camera sideways so that we can get the the horizontal. Right. Yeah, yeah. There it is, full screen. Okay. So yeah. um, basically, so my spiel is uh, I I ship. Uh, the stuff I ship is either USPS first class or anything under a pound, anything over a pound. I use UPS ground. I get a really good deal through work. Uh, so shipping usually starts at like six to $7 and I can usually ship up to like three pounds for that amount. Um, I've shipped really big boxes for way cheaper <laughs> than, uh, uh, than, than USPS. So this is sort of like my Transformers GI Joe section. Uh, and every, everything we're looking at is for sale, right? Yeah, everything okay. everything's for sale. So um, every, well, yeah, unless it's in the glass case, anything in the glass case is mine. And, uh, <laughs> okay. and, and uh, yeah, Mr. Kong helped me set up those details. So oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so Marvel stuff's kind of in the middle and I got stuff down to the floor. DC stuff is kind of over here, and then Star Wars stuff. So I know someone said they're a NECA collector. I didn't put any NECA out today. Um, but yeah, so like I've got movie stuff. Like I've got, oh, hang on. Uh oh. Fighter Zeva said he's already pulling out his wallet. So if you have, if you see something that you that you are interested in and are interested in knowing the price, just go ahead and type it into chat and I will help George. Uh, point out what it is and you can talk about it and let's see if we can make a sale. My goal is to All get right. you at least one sale from somebody here. <laughs> All right. Huh. Um, yeah. So I got Star Wars. So the new the new ships have a Nerf gun or like a Nerf cannon that shoots like Nerf darts. Oh, interesting. Um, I've got Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. That's 25 bucks. 
I've got the crow. Um, hey, we already we already have a claim. The best dad network says claim battle, claim battle toads. toads. No, that's, What's that? that that's that's my friend Gian, and that's our inside <laughs> joke. We always go into each other's lives and ask for like stupid stuff. So, okay. That's you got uh, you got you got us fed. I was like, we got a claim already. I was like, somebody has to know. Yeah. I right, Juan uh, is asking any Dragon Ball. All right, go ahead. Dragon Ball. Uh, the only Dragon Ball thing I have right now is this figure arts Jinyu. Okay. Um, that I would do sixty bucks on. All right. Um, so sealed. Um, yeah, and then shipping would be extra, but I could probably ship that for like six bucks. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, cool. So, Somebody's uh, asking any Rogue One toys. Rogue One. Um, yeah, so that's Rogue One. It's a tie intercept tie striker. Um, I'm asking yeah. thirty dollars on that. Um, okay. The only other Rogue One toy I had a three pack. Oh, and I don't know where I put it, uh, but I had a three pack of. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I don't know where I put it, uh, but I have a three pack of uh, Black Series three pack of uh, a Death Trooper, uh, Jin, and the other guy. Uh, yeah. So Jeff is back. Jeff is asking, are we bidding? So you have set no, prices on is, everything, right? This is, okay. This is a this is a claim sale. I just do claims. Uh, Facebook because of the lag is hor I, I'm not a fan of auctions auction style. Yeah. So yeah. I just throw a price out. Uh, if you like it, you can claim it. If you don't like the price, you can always make me a counter offer. Um, yeah, but yeah, uh, Rainwater Games, uh, it's, it's just a claim. So I have some loose figures. I have DC stuff here. If anyone's interested, I could go through those. I have a Betty Page statue there. Um, I've got, like I said before, I've got Honda. I'm asking $90 on Honda. 90 bucks. Nice. I was going to ask you. Honda's my man, man. He's yeah. my main character. Nice. All right, so for, right. For, for somebody that you know... I, I, what, what can you do? Is, is that, is that, is because is it, is it, what's the retail on that? Is that over retail because it's rare? Like 90 bucks sounds like a lot for a figure like that. No, I, I think 90 bucks is retail. Is it? That's retail? Yeah. 90 bucks yeah. for that figure? Yeah. It, technically, technically, Storm is an import. Okay. Uh, but Bluefin, I think, imports them. Um, but yeah, like this is, this is 90 bucks on BBTS. Oh, dang. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do it. Claim E Honda. Done. Right. You got a sale. I like how he said I'm gonna try to get a sale. <laughs> I bought <Yeah>. my. <laughs> I have to. Elon is my character. Uh, but wait, wait. Let, let, all right. And, and since I know George, I'm not gonna haggle with them. But no, might be like a five. Oh, I'll just win the money back from him in poker anyway. So that's right. Um, that's right. That's <laughs> uh, I got some more important yeah. stuff. I've got an iron spider back there. All uh, right. Oh, so uh, Webhead, who happens to be a Spider-Man fan, says, "Who do we have in Spider-Man Classics box?" box. Classics box. Oh, if you're looking at that, that's Toxin. Uh, the bubble's a little yellow, um, but he's a he's an old figure. He's from yeah the Amazing Spider-Man line. I think this is yeah Toy Biz. Um, asking seventy bucks on Toxin. Um, what else do I have? I've got a Marvel Select Spider-Man. Uh, I usually ask thirty bucks on those. Um, what other classics? Uh, yeah, I think that's the only Spider-Man classics thing I have. Um, if you guys like, I, I like import, so a lot of stuff I carry is imported. I've got this Moth Ooh, Venom. Nice. Webhead uh, and I play on Marvel vs. Capcom all the time, and he goes up with Venom, and yeah. I always play Spider Man, so yeah, oh, that's, nice. that's his thing. And Mando uh, Mike was saying Storms are premium figures. I guess that makes sense. Oh, and Mike says yeah. he got a Ken for 60 bucks. Is that a good deal? For that is a, a good deal. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. a great deal. Nice. Uh, Jeff said, I I was determined to make a sale and got it happening. So yeah, keep It's not like you started okay. the live stream of like, I'm going to buy something today. I, <laughs> <laughs> I got to so, support my man. I invited him on the stream. want to support him. There's a right. people tech Spider-Man that's super posable. It is a little like anime-ish. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my, I'm blocking my ring light. Um, yeah. But 75 on that. Iron Spider's there for, I need 90 for you guys. Modoc was saying Brad was talking about a Modoc. You have a Modoc somewhere? Uh, I'm Modoc right here. Uh, so this is the new figure that just came out. Um, I was asking sixty bucks on that. Uh, the box Tangled. is not the mintiest, uh, but yeah. So, uh, I mean, personal, personally, I think if you have the Toy Biz build a figure, I think it's. I think it holds up. I think you know. I, I don't think there's enough of an upgrade on this. Uh, to upgrade if you already have that build a figure. 
Uh, there's my Marvel Legends section. Uh, it's a little messy. Sorry about that. Uh, we've got the uh, Toys R Us exclusive Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. Asking a lot of money for that. Ooh, Somebody was asking about your, your cable looking so 90s. Oh, he is. I know. <laughs> he totally is. Uh, but it's a cool figure. It's actually, for some reason, I thought Revil Techs were kind of undersized, but he's he's on the tall side for, um, he and he scales it like Marvel Legends. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, these these aren't good. cheap either. Uh, so asking ninety five on cable. All right, Devil Waddle's asking about the Betty Page. Do you have? Can you pull that out? Oh yeah. Um, Betty Page. So I actually sold one of these on eBay recently for like 140 so i'm just asking 100 in the sale so that's what it looks like uh there's a bigger version of this uh that's like 13 inches i think this one is like seven or eight inches or so but that's basically what the statue looks like um the box is open but the the styrofoam is still taped up together nice um yeah so i'm asking 100 on that i see mark might... See huh? Martha's entertainer is asking for any Macross or Robotech because he knows he likes my right. Macross stuff. So what uh, you got? Unfortunately, the only thing I have, because it's my collection too, so I don't sell a lot of stuff. <laughs> I have a uh, high metal R super ostrich from the movie Do You Remember Love? Um, I can do a hundred bucks on that. That's a good deal. I mean, I always thought that one was gonna go up, but they tended to get like they I guess they overmade ostriches because they've been more readily available than the other ones, no? Um I, I usually sell I've been selling them on eBay lately for like 130, 140. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. with like fees and shipping. So yeah, I mean Yeah, that's a good deal. If you don't have that, uh C Chris, uh Chris Martinez, C Mart, the entertainer, that high metal line is freaking awesome. They're really good yeah, toys. It, I like it, them a lot. Yeah, and yeah. it's great because they're 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 one 100 scale and they're yeah. almost perfect transformation. You have to swap out some wings um, in Batroid mode. But uh, yeah. so Marvel yeah. Legends, uh, Venomized Cap, I'm asking uh, 30 bucks on that. Uh, I do like uh, yeah, Peter B. Parker, like 20 bucks on Peter B., 20 on Wolverine. Yeah. Um, Doctor Doom's 35. I've got Black Panther for 40. Uh, if you guys like Mortal Kombat, I'm asking. Uh, 40 Ooh, bucks on this yeah. two-pack. Nice. Um, yeah, with Mortal the, Kombat uh, movie. Yeah, with the Mortal Kombat movie, a lot of the Mortal Kombat stuff has, has been uh, hard to find. I have a Storm Collectibles Motaro. Um, I do 110 on that. So I, so he's got like the, uh, you know, the big centaur dude. He's got the tail. And then he's got like a full posable skeleton as an accessory, which I'm like, wow, that's... Uh, you need your fatality mode. <laughs> that's extra. <laughs> <laughs> extra extra yeah somebody was asking for the betty page like was open was it sticky or is it like new since you said it was open is it oh no it's not um no the box isn't sealed but the actual um inside uh whoop the styrofoam is still tape sealed okay or is is um yeah i so, had, i had two of these and and the other one was was open but yeah this is still all right, still, still pretty sealed. Yeah, it's, it's still taped. All right, so it's brand new. -ish. Yeah, it's brand yeah. new. There it is. That's good. Good to know. So yeah, somebody saying a hundred dollars for page is worth it if somebody wants to stake a claim. Uh, Ian, what's up, man? So everything that you're looking at is for sale. George is just going through a little mini tour, talking about some prices. If you have questions, you see something you want, he'll pull it up and talk about it. And Jeff, he's saying watching this is dangerous. So <laughs> you guys know, I, I just feel the same way. I watched the first one week that I that you were doing this. I was like, I, I, I come here because I want, I feel like I want to buy something. You have interested buyers that are watching this. Yes. Um, but it, but you say you actually do pretty well on your sales, right? Because you used to go to toy conventions, yeah. but now this has been more lucrative for you because now you have a virtual booth at home. I talk, exactly. Like, yeah. Exactly. So um, I go live for like two hours a night or two hours on a Saturday evening. Um, and I do better in those two hours than I do uh, spending all day at a toy show. Because with toy yeah. shows, you know, people are just like, sometimes they're just looking to get out yeah. uh, and look Grass. around. You know, so people just kind of like look and see what's there and price compare. Um, so here's my wall of wrestling. Um, and then, yeah, so it, it's actually it, it takes less time and I usually make more money uh, just going live for a couple hours. But I am worried about what's going to happen post quarantine, post pandemic, you know, 
Uh, but shows seem to be coming back, so I'll, I probably will start doing some of those as well. Um, I got Revenge of the Fallen, Supreme Devastator back there, asking a hundred bucks on that. Somebody's uh, asking for. Oh, hold on, wait. I gotta talk to Brad O'Connell for a second because Brad, oh, yeah. I know, I know you just sold your your attack from Mars, and uh, so I I know that the pinball uh, it's been gone. You lost a hundred. 50 bucks on it, but you just made $500. So you got $500 <laughs> back if you want to buy something else. Um, but yeah, I hear you. I, the problems on the Attack from Mars pinball uh, was definitely disappointing to hear compared to like the other ones that are out there, especially if you're a fan of classic pinball. So I don't blame you for selling it. I think it had a lot of issues from it playing stock um, on it. But mm. if you ever had to, an inkling to mod it, that might be one of the candidates to do so. It's but Brad, like, you have 500 bucks. Exactly. You got $500 <laughs> burning in your pocket. What, what's wrong the with the pinball with the Attack from Mars? Uh, so Arcade 1UP did the three-quarter scale pinballs, and they released three of them. So there's a Star Wars themed one, a Marvel yeah. themed one, and then Attack from Mars has the Valley Williams classic tables. But the quality on all three are slightly different. So the, the quality control issues from Attack from Mars there's an issue with the plexiglass that has streaks mm -hmm. on it. Actually, some of the, the the tables have a ghost nudging that's happening. One of the tables has terrible lag on it, and they haven't released a patch for it. Um, so yeah. it was just one of those disappointing things when you're trying to look for an out-of-the-box experience. The Star Wars one that I got was was great, but even then, I, I already gutted it and put a PC in it anyways because I always mod everything, but that yeah. was the issue. Like When you see something, you see kind of poor quality, uh, and these are like six hundred dollar things, so you, you right. want some some expectation for that. Uh, I see. Yeah. All right. All right. Somebody was asking about uh, Cap and Wolverine below. There was a Cap and Wolverine something. Okay. Um, if you're asking, okay, so uh, I would do fifteen bucks on the uh, what's that called? The uh, End Game Cap. Um, if you're asking about the Venomized Cap, asking thirty bucks on that. Uh, Twenty bucks on that Wolverine. Um, let's see. I got Gambit asking 30 bucks on him. I've got this other Wolverine from when he was in Madripoor, 20 bucks on him. And what else? So I love X-Men. So I always, I, you know, so while I don't usually sell X-Men a lot because they just stay in my collection. Yeah. Um, sometimes I do have extras. Do you have preference for, I guess I didn't ask you this. Do you have like an order of things that you collect that, that ranks above others? Um, I think I buy a lot of um, probably superhero stuff is is up there, but um, the import robot stuff like Voltron and, and Macross uh, definitely are things that I, I enjoy. Oh, yeah. I've got this old Marvel Legends Doc Ock. Um, I really this this Hulk has been like fire. Um, so it's it's like, he's like a 10 inch Hulk. Yeah, the Jeff is saying yeah. that Hulk was dope. Yeah, it's it's a great Hulk. It it's it's probably a little too big to put with like your Marvel Legends because this is uh, Marvel Select size and they're usually um, you know more like a seven inch scale. Um, and he's he's like a ten inch size figure, but uh, nice. Yeah, Do you have any Superman stuff? Somebody's asking for Superman. Superman. Uh, I'm a little light on Superman stuff. I think the only thing I have out right now is the animated series one. Uh, so it's got like cartoon Superman and Lois Lane back there. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I don't know. Batman always seems to sell the best. So I always have a ton of Batman. Um, I have this Mezco 112, which you can't see because of the way they packaged it. But this is a Mezco 112. Oh, what? So it's a soft so it's like a six six inch scale figure. Uh, they made it look like Christopher Reeves from the movie, and he's got like a Fortress of Solitude base, you know, with like the white crystals coming up. Um, I think that might be aside from that and the cartoon one. I think that's my only Superman out right now. Oh, or I've got this Justice League one, but this is the one in the black suit. Um, but this is like one of the uh, original ones that comes with the stand. Um, but instead of the blue and red, he's, he's black and red. So, um, asking 15 on that. 
Um, I'm, over, I'm over here fiddling with my gigawatt because I can't get his feet to work in it. I was like, oh man, this is this is actually pretty hard. So <laughs> <laughs> stinking gigawatts. It's uh, it's harder than I thought. Oh oh, you push this and it like pushes it out. So are oh, are the wheels right. actually broken off or could you snap them back on? No, we snapped them back in, but I can't get its feet to like come out properly. And like you know, you have to always like twist the torso and do yeah. something. So it's just looking funky right now. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's it. Oh, I did it. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. So you just do that. All right. Kind of like the other part showing up. What's that? Like the back of the DeLorean showing. Yeah. Up. No, I think that I think this is the right size because uh, you can always tell the crotch on an action figure because the front side of his crotch is going to be clean and the back side will have like a hole for a peg. So you gotta you gotta rotate that torso. All right. right. There it is. Gigawatt is complete. Gigawatt. Gigawatts. I might put this on top of my IR arcade. That's a good spot for it, Jeff. That's a yeah. good idea, actually. Yeah. The IR arcade uh, is one of the uh, home arcade platforms, George, that mm -hmm. is uh, the, the CEO has um, kind of coined that the system has 1.21 gigawatts in the sound system because it's oh, nice. a super loud sound system. So a little Back to the Future reference, but that's definitely a good idea. Someone's asking to see the Wolverine patch. Wolverine again. patch again. Wolverine patch. Fighters <laughs> Evil, my boy Blast. Blast wants to <laughs> buy something, man. So there he is. There's, yeah. there's a little crunch to the bubble right there in the corner right here. Yeah. Um, Blast, let me know if you want it. I'll, I'll buy it for you. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Last to speak I you're He's, helping him make sales. I, I, I'm buying I am, but I'm I'm helping him make a sale and helping out my buddy Fighters Evo too. Blast to speakers, man. He's doing tutorials for everybody. If you want that Wolverine, let me know. I'll get it for you. It's like George, where's your whiskey so he could buy it for me? <laughs> you want something? Are you are you interested in something? Where's the whiskey? The whiskey. Oh, she. Oh, if we have alcohol for sale, then you should buy that from you. Uh, no, all, all my all my uh, alcohol. Although I do have a bar in my man cave. Um, I haven't stocked it. All my all my alcohol is still in the uh, is still in the the main house. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, the side house. So Webhead says the Hulk goes really well with large legends figures. It's really good. Yeah. Batman. Oh, somebody's asking for hey Keon, any Tron figures? We have a oh. lot of Tron fans. Um, no, no. The one Tron thing okay. I have is like the light cycle from Comic Con a few years ago, but I don't have. I see. Oh, I um, see. But. Uh, did you did you pre-order the new Comic Con uh, three pack that's coming out? There's uh, for you know Comic Con isn't happening this week or this year, but they're still doing like a they're still doing virtual um, exclusive. And mm -hmm. there's a there's a three pack, and they're like clear plastic, um, and I think it retails for like eighty bucks or something. Nice. Um, but yeah, that's that's coming out. So. Uh, I would I would recommend if you're a Tron fan uh, looking into that. Uh, I'll, I'll I have some on pre-order, but you know, <laughs> Donruss baseball card. Yeah, Donruss still makes baseball cards, but apparently MLB has gone exclusive with tops. So yeah. while they while Donruss still makes baseball cards, are unlicensed, so they can't show any of the logos or team names. Yeah, so just pictures of the guys of the, <laughs> of the players. Yeah, Jeff was impressed that you pulled out stuff when you said you didn't have anything. You're like, no super <laughs> super mentor, so. I, I, I always forget. I, I, I like to think I know what's out here. All right, we're good. Here, yeah. Jeff is a test. All right, let's test George. Thundercats. Oh, Thundercats. Uh, hang on. Where's the box? Where did I put the box? Oh, it's um, gonna, he's going to do it. I do have a box of Thundercats. Where did I put the box? Oh, no. Uh, I actually have – so a friend of my – so when I do my live sales, I actually sell – and have a buddy of mine help out and he gives me stuff to sell for him and unfortunately i don't know what i did with the box holy smokes how did the whole box go missing um oh man <laughs> somebody's saying thundercats oh you're on you're on point but while, while you're doing that uh fighters evil claimed it he claimed that that uh wolverine that you wolverine? had earlier Sweet. yeah Claim. Yes. All right. Thank you, so thank you, Evo. Fighters Evo. So I'll get you his contact info, or you can message him directly on Instagram if you can, or I'll, I'll connect you guys as well. Okay. So you got a claim. We got a claim. So all right. Very cool. Thank you. All right. You're still looking for Thundercats. Uh, I'm but still looking has, for Thundercats. He's asking for the price on that Moffex Venom. You got the web girl's attention. So <laughs> yeah. Um, so this one actually has been opened. 
Um, but everything's there. Everything's in good shape. I'm asking $90 on him. Uh, I, I usually sell, I, yeah, I used to have these new and I sold them on eBay for like one thirty. Um, so it's, it's basically Eddie Brock, um, as he looked when Venom first appeared. So he's not like huge and hulking. Um, you know, he's still like a normal sized human being, but he's got all those webs. He's got all those hands. Uh, so he's got magnetic hands and feet. That's what those little dots are on the hands. He's got all those, that webbing. He's oh, I missed, the, I missed, I missed, I missed another claim, by the way. Uh, Seamart, this entertainer claimed the VF1. So boom, oh. you got two sales. Oh, wow. Thank you. All right. So that oh. one's for Seamart, this entertainer. So Fighters Evil has the Wolverine. Seamart got right. the Super Ostrich. All right. Very good. Hundred bucks. Thank you. Good claim. Thank you for uh, for following up and and reminding me about that claim. Very cool. All right. So thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Uh, thanks, Fighters awesome. Evil. Arcade figures. All right. Do you have other arcade figures? Um, uh, there's that Mortal uh, Kombat one. There was. Yes, yeah, so I've got I've got Motaro. I've got the two pack. I have a Baraka and Sub Zero. Um, also from McFarland. So we got Sub Zero. We have Baraka. Was that Sub Zero Green? Yes. I don't. Yeah. Why? I don't know. This is it's like yeah. A I don't know. Wannabe reptile. I'm not. I'm not sure which game this is from either, because it just says Mortal Kombat. The newer ones that are out are specifically from Mortal Kombat 11. Um, but yeah, he's blue for some reason. <laughs> hey, Webhead. Uh, Webhead and Fighters Evil were trying to claim the um, the Venom, so Webhead claimed yeah. it. But Fighters Evil was going to try to buy it for him, but uh, I think you have a claim from Webhead as well. So thanks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. These guys are all community guys. They all are supporting each other. So thanks. Thanks, wow. Webhead. Cool. So you got you got three claims so far on this sale. We're doing pretty well. We're already at yeah. an hour and 10 minutes. So uh, maybe we'll go for another 10, 15 minutes or so till the kids wake up okay. and bug us. But this is fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And maybe we'll do this more regularly because your stuff changes every week, right? Because you always get new stuff in. Yeah, and, I, I always, yeah. yeah, I always get new stuff in or I'll rotate stuff out. Um, yeah. So while not arcade, I've got video game wise, I've got some Halo figures. All right. I don't know if these have been custom, but um, I'd let these, I'd, I'd sell both of these for like 15, like the okay. pair for 15 bucks. Somebody was asking about the Superman. Did Superman ever wear that black suit in JLA or is that a misprint? It's, it's not a misprint. They they did the figure on purpose, um, but I don't remember if he actually wore it in the show. I think it's just the way. I think it was just a way for them to you know milk variant. The milk. Yeah, yeah, it's the variant. Yeah, yeah. All right. Filey says, "What are your thoughts on the self transforming Optimus Prime?" George, did you get the Robosan Prime? I did not. What? I did not. And and while I recognize how cool it is. Uh, I couldn't justify it to myself because I feel like I feel like the novelty of him transforming Transform. himself will wear off very quickly. Like I have the I have the Sphero BB-8, which was awesome, and I thought it was awesome, and I, at the I time it for like ten minutes, and then it, it's true. now just sitting on my shelf. So that's true. Uh, so yeah, I I, I just we got the same one. But, uh, that's true. I felt the, the same way, but I was like. But then it sold out that same day, and I was like, all right, I'm glad I got it because of the FOMO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I think it's really cool, just like George said, that it, it's self-transforming. But um, yeah. I figure I might open it once and because I'm a display guy. I'm not really playing with stuff, but uh, right. it'll, be, it'll be a cool party trick for sure. Right. Okay. All right, what um, else you got? So not arcade, but I have these Final Fantasy figures. Uh -huh. um, so they're like Ooh. training figures. So they're, they're small. Uh, but you get, um, so it's all like the main characters from the different Final Fantasy games. Oh, nice. So you get a colored set. And then like like the Japanese folks like to do, you get a clear set. You get like, a weird <laughs> alternate set. Uh, Are so you selling all, the box? Yeah, so the whole box. Yeah. So the whole box I'm asking 65 on. Oh, nice. Um, so you get 10 figures for 65 bucks. Uh, yeah, so you get the five clear ones and then the five colored ones. Um, so yeah, um, they're probably, I don't know. Two and a half, three inches tall, maybe. Nice. All right. Somebody's yeah, asking yeah. for prices on the MK on the uh, the Mortal Kombat figure. Okay. Yeah. So I'm asking. Um, I, think I can do forty on the two pack, um, and then for these, um, I'll do twenty five a piece. So Sub Zero, twenty five. Baraka for twenty five. 
Uh, and this is the bloody version. There is a there's a non bloody version uh, that came out before that. And then for Motaro, um, I can do one ten. Nice, cool. All right, so those are the prices. Oh, it's funny. F Fighters Evil and Webhead are, uh, are are saying that they're gonna fight on Marvel versus Capcom as a first to ten to see who can buy and claim it. So <laughs> have you ever seen two people trying to claim the same thing and, and trying to claim it on your show? Like, have you ever done that or dealt with yeah. it? What do you do when two people want it? These guys are going to play Marvel versus Capcom awesome. for the right to buy your Venom. That but, is awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, to be honest, you know, usually when someone, when that happens, I usually just say whoever I see first on my end um, gets it because some, um, because of lag, sometimes it'll look like uh, someone posts bef like first on their side, but yeah. on my side, when I see it, I'll see I'll see it the other way where the other person uh, came through first. Yeah, so it's who you see comes through first, right? That's right, kind of what you have right. to do. All right, yeah. and then I've seen other people that are like, two people claim that it's gonna go on auction. I'm gonna put a timer on it, and I was just like, yeah, eh, it didn't really uh, didn't really yeah. jive with me. But I, that's cool not, that you do that. I'm not a fan of that either. Oh yeah, video game stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Play Arts Kai uh, for Metal Gear, which Metal Gear is, I don't know, this stuff is expensive. <laughs> um, but I've got Raiden, Play Arts Kai Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. Um, Wait, I think I think Keon is saying he wanted to claim all the uh, the MK figures and ask for a deal. What would you do if you bought them oh. all? Um, okay, hang on. He says give give the deal for all of the MK figures on him. All right, okay. we're going. We're, we're doing some big, big time haggling. Let's get all I the know. MK figures for Keon. Okay, Let's do so it. I said, I said one ten. I said twenty five a piece for those, and then forty on this. Um, I was two hundred. Is it <laughs> <laughs> one ten plus forty oh, yeah, one fifty, <laughs> and then yeah, so it's two hundred. So two hundred. Um, uh, let's see. So I could go. Uh, 195. <laughs> I, let it let I, the man work. I, yeah, I, no, see, I'll, I'll do better. I'll do 190. I'll, I can do 190. I'll, I'll, I'll give you these two for uh, for 20 a piece. Uh, 40 is already kind of down there, and then uh, yeah, normally I sell this for 120. So, uh, I was trying to give you give your guys a, a, a deal already. So, I could do yeah, so um, I'll drop five bucks off of each of these, so 190 for. For those, the Motaro and the two-pack. Keon says, done. Claim. Nice. You got a full set of Mortal Kombat's coming your way. Nicely Sweet. done, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Very cool. Thanks, Keon. I, um, I like this style of a show. This is pretty cool. All right, let me see if I missed anything else up here. Um, all right, we already claimed the ostrich. That's good. Brad is ordering Temsis. Um, so you're talking. To, <laughs> these guys are still talking about arcades and things. There's a Simpsons nice. arcade one-up cap coming out. George, or would you be interested in... And there's an X Men cab coming out. I'm not oh. getting with. What do you? That, why did you punch me? Is for? that the one with the four with the four sticks? Yeah, there's oh. a four player Simpsons that is leaked. That's gonna be revealed hopefully at E3. But they all right. they have an X Men cab coming out. But do you dabble in arcades at all? That's my main audience. So coming kind, of, right. kind of curious to. I to, I want to. Um, I need to clear out some stuff. Um, yeah. I have the real estate for it in my man cave, but everything's i've got so much stuff boxed right now that i need to clear stuff out yeah um, as, a, as a reminder guys uh shipping is going to be extra but it should be yeah. uh you know it, it it'll, it'll be very affordable yeah very cool all right so you what so what happens after this will um if you guys need to connect with george i would say message him directly through instagram is that the best way or facebook right is that yeah facebook's okay. fine facebook or yeah. or instagram so on instagram i'm crowded shelves plural yeah crowded shelves toys all one word yep. or on facebook i'm just george george G -E george g-e-o-r-g-e -E, uh c-h-o-i is my last name and uh i don't know how many george choice there are on facebook but uh my avatar is my daughter in a hat and sunglasses uh so i've got some metal gear stuff so I've got solid as snake back there i've got the cyber ninja i don't know how well you can see that with the uh glare and I've got uh, Raiden. This, I think, was like a New York Comic Con exclusive. It's the blue version. Whoops. I think I typed in your Instagram handle wrong. Is it Crowded Shelf Toys or Crowded no, that's Shelves? It. That's crowded it. Shelves Toys? 
I, 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 sober, so. <laughs> I should have done shelf because it probably rolls off the tongue a little easier. Uh, but for whatever reason, so yeah, like the crowded shelves, I figured was kind of like my philosophy of collecting and, and selling. You so, have crowded shelves. It makes sense for sure. And hey, Webhead, exactly. thank you so much. Somebody just, Webhead just gave me a $10 super chat as a finder's <laughs> fee on the Avena. So this is fun. So. Wow. Right, so, oh, that's so uh, funny. So uh, thanks. Swedish chef, if anyone's interested. So, oh, uh, sweet, oh, wait, go, go back to the Swedish chef thing. <laughs> Like that would be fun to get for uh for your for the kiddos if you have kiddos. So that's that's all the stuff he comes with. Do you know George Lolas? It says, "Hey, keep up the great work." Oh wait, it says, "Keep up the great work." We love your videos. Oh, thank you, George. Appreciate that. Cool. All right. Um, yeah. So that's Swedish Chef is twenty five bucks. Oh, somebody asked about Motu stuff. Masters of the Universe. Oh, the Masters of the Universe. So, um, this is Orko. This is the comic-con exclusive version so he's kind of the uh he's kind of translucent but he's still in the color you know normal orco colors yeah um, it's a version that has the prince adam at the bottom of the uh of the package as an accessory but you yeah. can't really see him uh there's men at arms uh so that's i think an original release so there's no white nailer um in the i have a swift wind that's opened um but it's complete. It's got the box. I was asking 175 on the Swift win. Uh, so these are actually my buddy. So he's asking 150 on him. And I don't know what he's asking on men at arms. All right. So somebody's asking, like, do you have an online list of the stuff that's available for folks that like miss your stuff? Like how, what's the best way for people to, if they miss it, if they want to see what else you have, do you, do you want to point them to eBay? Like, how do you, how do you handle that? Um, I used to have, I used to have a Google doc of a lot of my stuff. Um, I haven't updated it in forever. Yeah. Um, stuff comes and goes. Yeah. Yeah. The stuff comes and goes. Um, yeah. I mean, honestly, the best way is to reach out to me to see if there's something specific. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, check my Instagram. Um, you know, even if I don't have what's posted on Instagram, um, I'll have, you know, I'll probably have similar stuff. Um, so you can always reach out and, and, and ask. Um, yeah. I don't have, I, you know, I should probably set up a Facebook page or something. <laughs> you uh, should. I mean, this I, is getting, it, it's you do it now. Like it's always been like a side hustle for me. So I've never yeah. wanted to be like super official and have, yeah. have the information out there. So, um, you know, so I've got some uh, Masters of the Universe 2000 X stuff. Um, oh, arcade stuff. I have uh, Marvel versus Capcom, uh, <laughs> Black Widow versus Ryu. Uh, 15 bucks for that two pack. Uh, Iron Man. So there's a Comic Con exclusive Jim Lee sketch figure. See, we don't need to go to like any toy shows. We can just watch George every single week. This is the best window right. shopping you can do. I think people are just enjoying looking at all this cool stuff too. So <laughs> we might have to do this more often. Or if you want to, so you you do go live every Saturday, right? Just to like, because I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end pretty soon. Just yeah. for folks that like that want to catch this style format again, mm -hmm. like where where can people find you, or or how do you want to get people to connect with you? Um, so right now the best thing to do is probably just, uh, DM me on Facebook. Okay. Again, George Choi. And then, um, I'll, I'll send you a, a link to the group I'm in where I, I go, I sell, uh, right now my schedule is Saturday, uh, four to six Pacific time. Okay. I go for a couple hours. Um, this is basically my setup. Um, you know, I usually just, uh, I'll post some preview pics usually of, of the new stuff that's come in. And I will, uh, you know, pretty much do the same kind of style. I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to seal the, oh, Marvel Capcom claims. All right, man. Claimed. <laughs> Add that to the Mortal Kombat title. 15 yeah. bucks. I noticed that too. Aria was like, hand. hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like, sh right. Show it. I want to see. What, what, what do we, uh, show, me, show me the picture of the hand. I want to see what it is. So he's like, look, any, <laughs> any face in the way. So it's not, you know. but yeah, that's true. Uh, don't talk to me. That's true. Talk to the hand Very moves. cool. Keon's going uh, shopping. He's got some good nice. stuff going on. All right. We got uh, some loose figures, Savage Dragon, Rip Claw from Image Comics. We got Punisher. We got a Dark Hawk. If you want to buy into the hype of the Dark Hawk number one comic book that, that people kind of perpetuate. <laughs> Uh, we've got this vintage Voltron. So it's an Voltron. 
Oh, speaking of Ultron, I should probably start opening this up. While oh, yeah, you're open it up. Going. So, uh, ooh, and then we'll keep and then going. But smaller Voltron, up. and he. This one's an eraser. The one that's uh, down here in this corner. Um, Die Ruga! Yeah. What do you think about like the imports for these toys? I mean, they're super expensive, but do you do you open them, keep them, display them? What would you do with something like this? Do you uh, have this guy? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, I think when I ordered it, I only got one of them. Otherwise, I would have offered it to you guys. Um, I've got Figma Link. Uh, it has been opened, but everything's in there, and he's, he's in good shape. Asking 65 on, on Link. Um, okay. All right, hold on really fast. I just got a $20 super chat from Fighters Evo that says you underestimate my power, Webhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much for the support, uh, Blast. You don't have to send the super chats, but I appreciate you and Webhead. What I do want to see is I want to see you and Webhead go FT10, though. So, <laughs> But I, yeah, otherwise, I, that would be fun to watch. I, 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 yeah, I want to see this fight for the right to, uh, <laughs> to, to claim. I, That's I, really I want to cool. see this. Thank you so much, man. Hey, uh, Jeff Wayne Rodder Games is asking. He's in search of the Funk, um, uh, Funko Universal Mini Monsters Frankenstein, Brad of Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula, Mummy, Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Do you do Funko? I have. Th oh, this is Super Seven. Um, oh, okay. I don't have Funko stuff typically. Um, yeah, the Funko stuff is. I usually just have like random pops. Um, or random, you know, uh, reaction figures. Um, I don't typically do that stuff, but I know all the Universal Monster stuff is hot. Um, that always sells well. Um, I know there's a there's a Diamond Select Frankenstein coming out that looks really good. It's really well sculpted. Um, but yeah, I don't have any of the, the Funko uh, Universal stuff. Check out the box on this, like Die Ruger. Like, do you appreciate when stuff is really cleanly boxed like this? Yeah, that that's the way the retro stuff look. Uh, look, that's that's yeah. where, like the, the yeah back, the vintage box was was done. Yeah, Bandai does such a good job with packaging their stuff. Like, I get so excited when like brands that I like uh, get made by Bandai because they do such a good job of stuff. And there's a second one. Absolutely. Oh, oh my goodness, she's stabbing me with another sword. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't give her. I can't it's get her imports because, oh my goodness, this thing is like, uh, ow! <laughs> oh my goodness, these toys are like, <laughs> they're chromey and shiny and sharp, man. Like, yeah, these Japanese toys can like literally poke an eye out and she's poking me in the face with another sharp object. Like, that's hilarious. My goodness. Um, oh my goodness, there's so many accessories with this guy too. And I, that's the thing yeah. I love about Bandai Solo Chogokin. They come with the stands and you can like put everything on it. I think again, the stand is probably my favorite part of the toy is that you're gonna be able to put all the accessories on something as well. Yeah, because the, the, the Go Lion had a really great stand, right? Yeah, like, it did. The... Let me show this off. All right, so that she doesn't start poking me off. This is, I don't, maybe I'll start putting it together, but this is the stand and all the stuff. And whenever a toy, can come with accessories that already have a place where you can store it. It's like cherry on cherry on the top. It's it's super uh, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. All right, keep going. Absolutely. All right. Um, so going through some Black Series stuff. We got the uh, the Mando and Child. The armor asking twenty five bucks on the armor. Uh, let's see. Got Moff Gideon with the dark saber. Um, got some clone troopers. If anyone likes the clone troopers, that's Ahsoka's clone trooper. Okay. Yeah, do you have any cards? Somebody was talking about Magic the G Tournament Gathering. That so, Bill? Yeah, I, I get cards again are always hit and miss depending on what's rare. Do you have yeah. any card packs? Uh, I do not. <laughs> you don't um, do card packs, mostly action figures. Yeah, that's mostly your... action figures. Um, yeah. yeah, and then the cards I buy, I usually just kind of. I, yeah, I just I usually immediately just rip or just kind of hang on to them. Webhead's asking, "What's your least favorite thing in there?" My least favorite thing. Ooh, that's a uh, man. Um, I I love all my toys, and they're all special to me. <laughs> you lies, all lies. Uh, that's why you. <laughs> my my least favorite. I don't know. Uh, that's a hard um, question. The would opposite way, could you do you have like a favorite thing there that like you it's like almost like you don't want to sell it, but you, it is for sale? Oh man, oh um huh. <laughs> 
Well, probably not my least favorite thing, but I've had this for a while that I was trying to sell for like five bucks, the Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. Um, so I'm just kind of tired of looking at it. Um, but my probably, yeah, probably like the animated stuff, like the, like the Superman animated stuff. Yeah. Or I have this, um, I have this Batmobile. Um, so I actually, I bought this one and then I, and then I ended up getting the regular bat black one that was originally released. So I'm selling uh. that, but it's still like all the Batman animated stuff is, is probably like near and dear to my heart kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'd say that. Um, if anyone likes like retro stuff or like Son of Zorn, I got Pee Wee's uh, Magic Screen. If anyone remembers James Bond Jr. James Bond Jr. Jr. <laughs> I remember that. It's James. Oh, that's James. cool. All right. So, yeah. Board game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That Black Superman a, got no love. Somebody's talking about you got some good Black Series stuff. That's great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, is that a black, a blue-haired bad girl? And how much is Luke Skywalker? Blue, blue and gray bat, or blue and gray bat girl? Blue and gray bat girl. Um, I don't think I have bat girl out here. Um, to do to do. So that's Catwoman. Um, did I have a bat girl out here? I don't think I have a bat girl out here. I collect bat girls, so. It's rare that they're on my my sales table. Um, I also collect Harleys, but these are extras that I happen to have. Um, so that and the Revolt Tech Harley. How much is a Luke Skywalker? He's asking for a Luke Skywalker. Um, did I have a Luke? Oh, oh, the figure arts. Uh, Luke Skywalker. This is the Bandai figure arts. I'm asking a hundred dollars on him. Nice. Those figure arts are really really nice action figures. I like them a lot. Oh, somebody yeah. claimed. So hey, somebody claimed a uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did it go away? Oh, Fighter Zevo last again is uh, buying the black Superman suit. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Uh, Superman feel, black suit. I don't nice. remember what I said. Do you remember the price of it? <laughs> I I have no idea. You're gonna have to remember after. You can go right. back and watch the stream again if you want to. All right. I, I think I said I think I said fifteen. Uh, Fighter Zevo. If you remember a different price, let me know. All right. Thank you for the claim. Yes. Uh, Brad's asking if you have any Watchmen. Oh, yes. I have uh, I have two of them. I have Silk Spectre and I have Ozymandias down here. So these are the DC Direct versions. Nice. Um, and I would do uh, 25 a piece or I'll do 45 for the pair. Hey, George, has this ever happened where you said, hey, $15, and then the guy's like, nope, I want to give you $20 for it, so. What? <laughs> <laughs> he says he's honest. So he think he, I think he says he remembers you saying 20 so. <laughs> but uh, he said 15 blasts, so. <laughs> but uh, I'll keep him at his oh word. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty uh, good. That's cool. We'll dude. go back and confirm, but he says 20 I, I, he, says I, I, he says he's honest. I doubt I said 20 because mostly because I wouldn't buy that for 20. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I yeah. wouldn't have, I, I don't think I would ask. I, I appreciate that, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it to you for 15. There um, it is. I like the mutual yeah. respect there. We're like George isn't out here to get like, you know, I think he's appreciated. I, I appreciate you coming on George and just sharing this with like, I, I saw this and I thought some of my followers might be interested in this and it yeah. sounds like you're having a good time. So uh, if you guys want, I don't want to go much longer because we're already at an hour and a half. We can go for forever, right. but definitely check out George's right. stuff. <laughs> last, last call for checking this out. I mean, you, you, yeah. you didn't get to go live yesterday, George, but you made some claims today. Yeah. So. Yeah, I these yeah. shows are gonna have partners um, fighting with each other. Like, what are you bringing home now? <laughs> I, and I got a I got a thirty dollar finder's fee from Webhead and Fighters Evil for even hosting this. So I made uh, thirty bucks by just having you here. Right. I'm already <laughs> I've already got like thirty dollars off my e Honda from just being right. here already. So woohoo! That's thank right. you guys. Yeah, this, this has been a lot of fun, and uh, thanks yeah. for having me. And uh, thanks for and thank you to uh, everyone that's claimed or is sticking around to watch. Uh, yeah, you know. I understand if this isn't your your cup of tea, but uh, you know if you're still around and just hanging out, I appreciate it. Got some Harry, <laughs> random Harry Potter minis <laughs> that yeah, I forgot so about. Ian's one of your big fans that always talks about your eyebrows being on point, so he recognized that you were doing this. What did you do? 
I put everything together. It was. Look how cool this stand oh, nice. is. It's freaking awesome. And then it has the different way where you can put the Japanese Daibruger logo here, or you can uh, put the Voltron logo on there too. So oh, that's nice. pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I, Super sharp I, and shiny. I guess I would know that if I opened mine. You should. You should open your toys more. You really, really should. I know. George is um, awesome. Hey, do you know Richard Bradley? He says, George is awesome. I recommend highly. Says, I, I do. He's actually one of the guys I invited to the stream, and he buys yeah. me regularly. Richard's awesome. Oh, very cool. Thank you for being here, Richard. Appreciate oh you God. jumping God. in. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Fighters Evil says, charge me Venom, but ship it to Webhead. So these guys are still fighting <laughs> over their Venom. So you might have to. we might have to coordinate how that happens first. But do you remember who claimed everything? Do you put a claim table on the side? And how long do. does it take for you to like follow up and send invoices to people? Um, I will. I mean, I will jump on this um, because, uh, yeah, because I, you know, I don't want to keep you guys waiting uh, yeah. for my for my regular sale. It it does kind of take me a little while. Um, I was super slow for a while just because my nine to five was just super crazy, and I was working a ton of overtime. Yeah, um, but I'm getting back on track. But yeah, I mean, for you guys. Uh, so since it's a special deal and you guys are hey, webhead just bought me that qui-gon again figure for five bucks he gave me, so he gave me a five dollar super chat in order to buy your five dollar item that you couldn't get rid of so <laughs> that's awesome thanks webhead thanks, claim webhead. i got there two go. toys now yay right. more toys right. go find an r2d2 well, and throw it in there with it so i can right. add it to my star wars collection I, so. I have i have a bunch of loose <laughs> figures somewhere that i need to track yeah. down but, yeah i need the dollar bin george where's the dollar bin when you go to toy shows so that you can pull it out and uh they're, we can get they're, more <laughs> they're at they're at the toy show <laughs> <laughs> so you can get the kiddos to come see you exactly that's so funny exactly uh, Oh, and somebody had tried to claim. Oh, sorry, Anthony. Actually, Anthony wants to really claim the Star Wars Qui Gon Mall. So, uh, oh, okay. I, yeah. So, Anthony, go. I'll, I'll let you go ahead and have that claim. Uh, so, but Webhead, I'll put that towards something else. I appreciate. I appreciate the super chat, my man. Shooting me with missiles. I got you in the eye. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad I have glasses on because otherwise I'd be like being be walled. <laughs> I got to rewatch I'm, that. I, I, I actually got you in the eyes. Oh okay. man, we gotta slow mo that later on. I hope you guys have been enjoying watching the stream. I'm trying to like yeah. close this up. Qui Gon is gone. All right, Anthony, thank you guys right. for the claim. So Anthony has the Star Wars Qui Gon okay, mall claim. Okay. All right, great Sunday stream. It was so cool. Mrs. Kong, you should shape Beast's eyebrows live. I have really nice eyebrows. I don't know if I need shaping. Do I? You got that unibrow growing. I have a unibrow. Oh, All right, no. I'll, I'll pluck that. I think it's fine. I think I'm looking good. Qui-Gon is gone. That stand is awesome, like George. Fight for Qui-Gon. <laughs> All right, thanks, Webhead. All right, first to 10. You're going to use the five out of this. Use the five dollar for an eye patch. I might have to. I might if I open toys up with Mrs. Kong's arrest. I might have to put like a shield here in between because she's been having too much fun. But I'm actually glad she's playing with toys. So thank you so much for uh, putting stuff together. Oh, I, I, I'd love to see you put together the full bro called What what is that? Is that Beetlejuice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he <wants to> watch. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys all for watching so much. Have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon. George, thanks for joining us. Crowded Shelves Toys on Instagram or message him on Facebook. Check us out every Sunday. We might do this again, George. This is really fun. Maybe we'll do it once a month or something because cool. I'm sure I'll have toys to open and she'll get to open up toys and attack me. Yeah. Attack that, me with those freaking toys. With, that like, was the best part of the battle. Watching battle, it right. falls apart. We can't do this on uh, lunch stream. No one's gonna buy it. <laughs> no, this isn't for buying. This is for playing. This is ours. This, is, this isn't. That's that's not what it's... Mrs. Kong says. <laughs> She's like, sell it, sell it, sell it. Thanks everybody. Fire the missiles, uh, and then take thanks, a nap. Everyone, thanks for <laughs> all right. Thanks guys. For, uh... All right. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.